Namaste. Welcome everyone. In this short video, I'm going to share with you uh, some information about the Surya Namaskara Sun Salutation. We will look at each pose, learn the names of the postures, the alignments, and at the end we will do together one full circle of Sun Salutation. If you've ever been on the yoga class, you probably did, did the Sun Salute. It's one of the most popular sequences nowadays, which is uh, usually uh, being used as a warm-up. But the sun salute which is used now in the studios uh, probably come from the Ashtanga Vinyasa tradition. Uh, the one we're going to learn in this video, a bit older practice. Uh, this particular sequence uh, mentioned far back, many years old, in the, it was mentioned in the Rig Vedas. But it wasn't mentioned as a warm-up or as exercises for the body, but as a type of prostration or actually a religious ritual, because in the Hinduism, uh, the sun perceived as the god, as a very powerful god. But religious and um, rituals apart, the sun salutation is actually a wonderful practice if we are uh, moving through it mindfully, if we're connecting it with our breath, if we know alignments in each poses, it can bring a lot of benefits. It's a wonderful practice for the morning time, massaging our internal organs, massaging our belly, helping us with the digestion, awakening the whole body, energizing you and warm up the whole body. However, if you're just a beginner, I really suggest you to do a little bit of joint exercises or movement which make you feel more um, warmed up before you move in the sun salutation. I would not call it um, as a practice for the beginner. Also, if you have a high blood pressure or any issues with the heart, please either go really, really slow or I would suggest you to skip this practice and try something which would be a little bit more Mm, calm, a little bit more slow paced for you. However, we're going to begin with looking at each posture, learning the name and alignments. So we begin at the beginning on the top of the yoga mat with the feet planted down, relaxing the toes and releasing the arms along the sides, coming in Tadasana, mountain pose. Here, to find the alignments, you can rock a little bit forward and back. And as you're rocking forward and back, try to maintain the one line of your body. We're not looking for the straight line in the spine, of course, but we do want to remove the unnecessary uh, arching in the low back. For that, we'll draw the navel slightly in and up, draw the ribs in. Actively press through the heels and reach up through the crown. Bring your chin slightly in. Tadasana, mountain pose. Reach your arms up with the palms facing towards each other. Urdhva hastasana. Urdhva means lifted up. Hasta means head. We're lifting our hands up. Stretching, lengthening through the sides of the body. Uttanasana. As we're folding forward towards the legs, here we can encounter a few issues. So the first one is that we cannot reach towards the floor. In this case, I suggest you to bend your knees and place the palms on the blocks. Or maybe if you can reach to the floor, fingertips on the floor. Knees slightly bent. So in the fold forward, it's always two parts. The first part, we're working, working with the movement of the pelvis. So we want to tilt the pelvis so we can go in the fold without injuring and our low back and without feeling uncomfortable in our low back. If you can bring your belly down to your thighs without any issues and your legs straight, here we can pull ourselves a little bit, either pressing the palms down into the floor and push the palms into the floor or grabbing the ankles and pulling the forehead down to your shins. Uttanasana. 
Uttana means extended, stretched. Right foot goes back, right knee down to the floor. Ashva Sanchalasana. So for this low lunge, or Ashva Sanchalasana, you also can use a couple of blocks if you need additional support. If your knees are very sensitive, I suggest you either roll the yoga mat or place something underneath your right knee. Left knee will be over your left ankle. Try to not reach your knee too far forward. Chest forward. Ashva Sanchalasana. Adha Mukha Shvanasana, downward facing dog. Your palms and your feet will stay in one line. For beginners, I suggest to keep the knees slightly bent and keep sending the belly towards the top of the thighs. Here you're first working with the alignment in the spine. Don't let yourself arch. Draw your ribs in. Press through the bases of the index and thumbs into the floor. And eventually, your heels might reach down to the floor. Head relaxing. Look into your navel. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. Knees down. Imagine that you're keeping the uh, pencils in your armpits and you don't want to let them go. Keeping these elbows closed. Chest and chin goes down. Ashtanga Namaskara. Ashtanga, Ashta means eight. Anga means limbs. So you're touching the floor with the eight points. Here also very important to not let yourself arch too much. So ribs stay actively drawn in. Pull forward for Bunjangasana or Cobra Pose. Separate your feet hip width apart, palms in one line with your chest. So you're not pushing yourself away from the floor, you rather pull the floor. So you're pulling yourself forward. Use the spine muscles as you lift yourself up. Elbows pointing back, as long, chest forward. Bhujangasana, cobra pose. So this is the poses of the sun salutation, which is going to be uh, rotated twice through each half of the round. In each pose, you can support yourself by using the blocks or sliding something underneath the knees. So you have a blanket. If you have a blocks, keep them nearby. We're going to move one full round and we will adding on one of the essential elements of the sun salutation. The essential element of the sun salute is our breath. Each movement, each transition is associated with a certain uh, part of our breathing. It's either inhale, exhale, or holding of the breath. It's pretty intuitive. In a certain position, the breath helps us, such as the back bend, we do the inhale, fold forward, we do the exhale. But quite often, if we just begin practicing, it's kind of hard to, hard to get uh, into this breath flow. We forget about it. We're starting to feel uh, that we need to breathe in as much as we need. Maybe we're holding the breath sometime. And even if we're practicing for a long time, because the sequence is never changing, so we often move through it mindlessly. So let's do together one round, slow paced. Really be mindful about your alignments, about your breath. And I will be dictating the breath for you so you can follow my voice. We begin in Tadasana, mountain pose, on the top of the yoga mat. Press your heels down, release your arms along the side. Find one line through the body. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Reach your arms up, palms in. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold forward. Step your right foot back, knee down to the floor, low lunge, Ashtva Sanchalasana. 
Exhale, press your palms down. Downward facing dog. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Hold your breath. Drop your knees. Chest chin down. Ashtanga Namaskara. Pull forward with the inhale. Bhujangasana. Cobra pose. Exhale back into the downward facing dog. Drop the both knees down. Step your left foot forward back in Ashva Sanchalasana. Inhale. Exhale, step your right foot to the left. Uttanasana. Exhale. Inhale, lift up. Press through the feet. Reach your arms up. Urtha Hastasana. Exhale, release your arms along the sides. Tadasana. That was a half of the round. Changing the side. Inhale, Urtha Hastasana. Arms up. Exhale, Uttanasana, folding forward. Step your left foot back, knee down to the floor, Ashva Sanchalasana. Exhale, step back, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Knees down, chest chin down, Ashtanga Namaskara. Inhale, chest forward, elbows pointing back. Bhujangasana. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Either drop your knees down or step through with your right foot. Ashva Sanchalasana. Big inhale. Exhale. Step through. Feet together. Folding forward. Uttanasana. Inhale. Reach your arms up. Urtha Hastasana. Exhale, release your arms. Tadasana. There could be a slight differences. Um, Sometimes instead of Tadasana, we're using Pranamasana with the palms together towards the heart. Sometimes we add on the arching back. But just the kind of the skeleton of this uh, practice is uh, this uh, sequence. All right, one round is right side and then the left side. Remember to pay attention on your breath. Of course, there is much more elements to eat. You can add on uh, the mantras to each posture. You can add on the drishti or the certain gaze. It can be the outer gaze, the external, when you're gazing to the certain points, or it can be internal when you're doing the practice with the closed eyes. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope um, it's become a little bit more clear what is the sun salutation, why we're doing it, and how we can um, learn it and practice mindfully by ourselves. Thank you.